be making bases. What's good YouTube beat making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up and comment on the video if you like the content. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Now today's video is going to be about if you are, let's say a FL studio user and you're thinking about making the switch to logic pro 10 or if you already made the switch to logic pro 10 and you're just brand new um some things to keep in mind okay so let's just talk about like say if you're just like doing some research like man you know fl studio is cool but you know what's all this hype about logic well let's just go over some things here first of all we're gonna create a software instrument track real quick and um I want to talk about like creation wise, right? You can still do a lot of the same things that you could do in FL Studio, especially with the newest updates. OK, so if you get um, Logic Pro 10, 10.5 or above, you know, you could do a lot of the same things that you could do in FL Studio. So one of the things that you could do in Logic Pro 10 now is uh, record your beats with a step sequencer. So that's huge, especially if you're used to just drawing in your notes. I mean, or, or do, using a step sequencer to make your beats It's very similar to FL Studio. Um, you know, you got 16 steps that you can you start off with or you can come over here and increase it to 64 steps just to get uh, more detail with your patterns. That's one thing. Second off, you can go ahead and also uh, use this piano row. Let me click off of this. I don't know why it's doing that. But you can you can use you can also make beats um, using uh, the piano row. So basically, you can come in here and draw in the notes as well. Um, just hold down Command, and you can draw in different notes um, across the timeline and everything like that. So. That's one thing you can keep in mind when it comes to making that switch. Like if I am I able to still do this and do that. Another thing is with mixing logic pro 10 offers a lot when it comes to mixing, like you could do just about anything you can pretty much do mixing wise uh, in FL studio. You could do that in logic pro 10. Um, you know, you can add effects, obviously come over here, add a bunch of effects. You can actually add third party effects vsts and different things like that we have a hollow room here here i can add that on there i have a whole waves bundle you know what i'm saying i can add that in there any of these effects i can add them in in logic as well um that, so that's something to keep in mind when you're mixing you could also do like sins like send signals uh from auxiliary tracks over to different um tracks and different things like that so you can do some beginner level mixing and some more advanced mixing right here in logic pro 10 um, another thing that i want to talk about is something called the quick sampler so um, this is the quick sampler okay one cool thing about this is literally you can just drag and drop files anywhere from anywhere in your computer um, say if you're using like a third party uh place that has loops or if you have like a sample kit like this is a uh, splice right here literally you can just take this and build your own drum kits and like sample and re manipulate all using this um quick sampler so like say i want to bring in this this kick drum i could just literally literally just drag it over you saw how this dragged it over it's super simple so i don't have to like input it a certain way and do all this just literally drag and drop anywhere from anywhere in, in you know on your computer or even within the software and it's pretty simple to even come in here and adjust certain things or chop up the samples easy you know saying you just move that right there if you click right here um you can set everything to go on a loop i usually don't though you can just turn it off right here no loop you can reverse it if you want to right there on the playback. You can click this little icon right here and, and click here to follow tempo. So basically whatever BPM you have this at, say if you have a, a certain sample, you can make that uh, sample 
match that BPM overall. And like I said, you could you could build your own drum kits and stuff like that here. So like if you look over here, I have like a bunch of different stuff that I saved in here, and I can just pull it up whenever I want. So for instance, I could say this 808. You know what I'm saying? I can pull it up. I'm just using my MIDI keyboard to do this, but you can pull it up. All you got to do to save the sounds is come on over here and click this option. And then go over here to, and you can save the sounds right here or you can load sounds like right there as well. So say if I wanted to rename this, I'll just say save as and I can rename this right here. I'm not going to do that because I like, you know, how everything's named. But that's something to keep in mind as well. Another cool thing that I feel um, is pretty dope about Logic Pro 10 compared to FL Studios. Now you can... This is, we can always beg to differ here, but Logic Pro 10 comes with a lot of dope stock sounds, samples, and even effects. Um, and so that, for instance, let's just look like right here. This is called the library right here. Super simple to access it. Just go to the very top left of the screen, click that button, and we got hundreds of sounds, okay? Hundreds of sounds in this library. Um, everything is like folder based and you can come over here click on these right there and pull them on up different drum kits you can come over here and manipulate guitars like some some software programs literally you, you don't have all access to all this type of stuff so yeah and then you can come over here and actually search stuff so say if you want to make you know a beat with strings in it if I put strings, now it's going to pull up all the strings that, you know, they offer here. Um, we could say pits for like a pizzicato, you know what I'm saying? It has different pizzicatos here. So it's pretty dope. And then also you can find some sounds by going to what's called the inspector window. This guy right here, turn that off and then coming right here. And there's a lot of different sounds you can choose from here. There's the stock, stock sounds, and they have some pretty good ones. Um, if you're brand new to Logic or you're considering it, Alchemy is a, free, a pretty popular sound bank that comes free with Logic. Um, click on stereo right here. Literally thousands and thousands of sounds, man. Like you can come over here and search them through different categories, subcategories, genre, timbre, timbre. And you can also search sounds too. So I can say piano, and now all my piano sounds are gonna pull up. Um, you know, and you can come over here and actually manipulate the sounds as well. So it comes over here with like an actual sound sound design element to this as well. If that wasn't enough was when it comes to sounds and everything, you can also come over here to this top right area and click on this uh, loop icon. It looks kind of like a uh, max box car you know you know the little cars you used to play with back in the day when you were a kid yeah let that this little thing so click on that and this literally has thousands and thousands of samples okay that you can use royalty free same deal here everything is organized pretty well you can organize it um, or search things by instrument genre or descriptive words and then you can just click on these different options here and access different stuff. So like for instance, piano, I can come over here and find piano loops. You feel me? You can incorporate this into your production. Pretty lit. I mean, these are things that you gotta think about when it comes to switching or if you just switched, you know what I'm saying? Like this is why, because it comes with so much um, just right here in the in the box. Um, so we're gonna click off that. Um, again, also plugins wise, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, it, it does help to go ahead and get those wave bundles. It does help to go get some of those other third party plugins, but you know, they have some pretty good compressors in here. They got a pretty solid um, EQ, some pretty solid EQs. They got a vintage EQ, let's check that out. You feel me? They got a lot of different stuff that you can come in here 
just out the box, like without having to spend any extra money and you can you can cook up, you know what I'm saying? Like so just wanted to talk about those few things here when it comes to um making the switch from FL Studio to Logic Pro 10 or if you just made the switch, this is why. You know what I mean? I remember when I first actually made the switch years and years ago, you know, I've been making music in Logic since it was Logic Pro 8, okay? So I went from Logic Pro 8 to Logic Pro 9 to Logic Pro 10, and now I'm already up to Logic Pro 10.5, you know what I'm saying? So, but one of the things I really liked about it was all of the different stuff that came with it, you know what I mean? I didn't have to necessarily go get a bunch of new sounds, didn't have to necessarily go get a bunch of new plugins and stuff like that just to get going. Um, another thing we should also talk about here is the aspect of recording. So like you could actually record artists, record yourself, maybe you're a singer songwriter, maybe you're a rapper and a producer, you feel me? So you could actually record like high quality stuff just right here with just this software. You don't necessarily need to go ahead and get Pro Tools and some other, you know, DAW just to record, make beats and everything like that. So you can do everything right here in Logic Pro 10. Uh, man, Logic, y'all really need to sponsor me. I'm really going super in on Logic because Logic is hard. I mean, like, I've thought about making the switch sometimes. Like, man, you know, everybody's using Log um, FL Studios and you hear about all these producers that are getting hits and stuff like that off of FL Studios, but I think it's just a good thing to just find a doll that works well for you and, you know, have your reasons why you like it and just stick to it and master it, you feel me? I could easily, you know, jump to FL Studio because maybe certain things that they have here but instead, I'm just going to say, well, you know what? I already am familiar with this. I've already invested years and hours and hours and hours into the software. Let me just find out how to do what they're able to do in FL Studio, but do it in Logic. And like I said, with all the newest and latest advancements in some of these uh, new updates, man, you, you literally can do everything that um, FL Studio could do um, overall for the most part. So, yeah, that's the video, man. Appreciate y'all watching. If you're new, man, make sure you go ahead and get subscribed, man. I'm, it's my goal to go ahead and provide you all the most highest quality content possible when it comes to making beats in Logic Pro 10. We'll also throw GarageBand in there because GarageBand is a little brother or a little sister to Logic. But I really focused on Logic Pro 10 on this channel. And um, But yeah, man, make sure you get subscribed if, if you make beats in Logic Pro 10. I'm, I'm going to be dropping these videos on a consistent basis we're really looking to grow the channel um you know get hundreds of thousands of view uh, subscribers and because i feel like you know with me you know it's just like we got enough people talking about fl studio and what you can do in that we don't have enough people actually focused in and honed in on logic you know and so that's 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 where i come in and that's what i'm here to do is help you all make bangers in logic pro 10 and do it in an easy to understand way but anyway enough talking we're gonna go ahead and end this one and uh until i see you in the next one man make sure you get subscribed like the video comment and all that good stuff and holla at you next time